I was asked to do uh, West Side Story way back in Glasgow. It was actually a production in Glasgow, a touring production in about 1991, and I couldn't do it because of my schedule. So it's a, a show that I've always wanted to be involved with and a song I've always wanted to sing. Maria, Maria. People associate Bernstein more with this, and when they hear that it's a Sondheim lyric, they go, oh my, I didn't know, I didn't know Stephen wrote stuff for this. But, um, so it's kind of a pleasant surprise. But again, if you look at it, you can see his style developing and coming out, you know, because this was one of the first works that he was involved with. Maria. You sing in a range in an area where it's, I call it the danger zone for the male voice, and at the end, you have to flip over that danger zone and ring out this wonderfully high note it's supposed to sound like a bell ringing, and sometimes it goes drastically wrong. So, cross your fingers. Never stop saying Maria. As far as I know, there are two musicals featuring a girl called Maria. In The Sound of Music, Maria is surrounded by nuns, and no one knows what to do with her. In West Side Story, Maria is surrounded by teenage lads, and most of them have a pretty good idea what to do with her. <laughs> Singing the wonderful song Maria from West Side Story, it's Mr. John Barrowman. The most beautiful sound I ever heard. Maria, 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 Maria. All the beautiful sounds of the world in a single word. Maria, 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 Maria. I've just met a girl named Maria, and suddenly will never be the same to me. Maria, I've just kissed a girl named Maria, and suddenly I found how wonderful a sound can be. Maria, say it loud and there's music playing. Say it soft. And it's almost like praying Maria I'll never stop saying Maria